All right, so real quick, I wanted to go ahead and make a video about what I do to determine what reagents I need to put on. Um, so real quickly, at the beginning of the day, I'll go through and um, I'll come to reagent from workplace. And in the settings section, I'll scroll down and I'll check how many are remaining for each cassette. Basically, what I'm looking for is if there's not enough to either go through a calibration or a QC before it runs out. So for instance, pre-albumin here, um, it only has one reagent remaining. You can see remaining one. So that means I might as well dump that when I bring it into standby because there's not going to be enough to QC. It's just going to run out. Um, so after that, I'll scroll down. I'll check all that. Um, and the next thing I want to do is I'm going to come over here to the expiration date and I'm going to check for any of the reagent packs that have either already um, expired uh, last night at midnight or will expire tonight at midnight. So you just quickly scroll through, shows you all the days it has left till it expires. For instance, direct bilirubin only has two days left. Uh, so cholesterol only has one day left. I actually already went ahead and put another pack on. Unfortunately, there's 189 still remaining, but it's going to expire tonight at midnight. So I'll go ahead and dump it then. Um, and then you can switch to the 601 side. And this basically just shows you, see here, PTH has expired. Um, you can see the same thing, how many remaining tests there are um, on each one. Uh, see, like these ones have zero. Unfortunately, it doesn't automatically dump, so I have to remove those when I bring it in standby before I add on any new packs. And that's basically what I do, and that's how I determine what I need to add.